Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge meeting. This meeting is for the participants of the Essence of Knowledge program. It is a part of the program. There is a question from Shivani. Is everything predetermined in Maya? Maya means uh, unlimited possibilities. It means the illusion or Maya is seen in uh, unlimited infinite forms. So there are things that are predetermined and there are things that are not predetermined and there are things that are totally random and there are some mysterious things that, that are not yet manifested. What is predetermined? That should be our question. Not everything. We cannot say anything about Maya. It is also mostly unknowable. Are there things in uh, this illusion that are predetermined? And the answer is surely yes, yes. But we cannot say about everything, you see. We don't know. We don't know everything. But at least we know the, in broader sense, certainly we know that there are things that are not predetermined. There are some things. So uh, the most important question for uh, humans is, is our life pre predetermined? That is the debate, isn't it? Or are we as humans in charge of our lives and as you know this is illusion so there will be both points of views nobody will agree on one thing and we should not agree on one thing because everything is possible here you will see examples of many lives human lives that are 99 percent predetermined so much so that uh, you can tell what is going to happen in their life from their birth date and place of birth. That is called astrology, isn't it? It is very amazing that sometimes their predictions, they come true and that proves that yes, it is predetermined. And some people may not like this example. It's very unscientific. But you can find very common sense examples of predetermination. If you throw a stone in air, yes, it is 100% predetermined that it will fall down except if you throw it at a high speed like rocket if uh, there is a tree it is predetermined that it will produce fruits and then it will die this is how the life of the tree happens it grows then in that season the flowers come and this season the fruits come the fruit will taste taste exactly like this a mango tree will produce only mangoes not coconuts all these things we can see with our own eyes that they are predetermined. But nobody worries about these things. We don't care. But yes, this is a fact. But there are some things which cannot be predetermined. There are some things which are intermediate, in between. We call them probabilistic or statistical. In the scientific language, we call them stochastic. But probably we don't want that kind of language. Uh, so you can say some... some uh, Predictions can be made. If you if you look at a large number of events, you can predict some things. For example, weather, climate, or election results, something like this. But the more complex the system is, like a human being, the more unpredictable it is. Like a big machine also, we don't know what will fail in that machine when it can go wrong. Anything can go wrong. So sometimes they are predetermined, but still we don't know. Sometimes it is all probability. So from probability of zero to probability of one, in scientific uh, language, we can say all possibilities exist. If you want to know whether your life is predetermined and what events are predetermined there, because not all events are predetermined, that is very less likely, isn't it? Important events, that is our tension, isn't it? You don't want to know all this science and all this garbage. You want to know what is it in my life that is predetermined, how it will happen. And uh, fortunately, that is possible. One of the things is meeting your guru and getting the self-realization is predetermined. I don't want to tell you more about this because you will ask for proof. You will ask for evidence. And evidence is your own experience, not my word. My words mean nothing. So only to fire your curiosity, I'm telling you that uh, there are some important events in the life of this body-mind creature 
they are already predetermined but not everything we should not be so crazy that tomorrow what i am going to do is predetermined no that is craziness there are some things that are bound to happen that is what we call pre allocation prarabdha it is possible to find that so that is your homework <laughs> find it i have said so much about this pre allocation because it is very important for a human being subject is very important so research ravina is saying experience uh, experiencer is not uh, dependent on experience knowledge is dependent on experience experiencer is never found without experience that is another thing but the relation is not of dependency one is not dependent on other the relation between the experience and the experiencer is of oneness they are one so i guess i know this is tricky question everybody should think about this because if the experiencer is dependent on the experience to be that means experience is primary not the experiencer that means experience is independent and the experience experiencer is dependent so the experience will be called the essence but but it is changing so it cannot be the essence only the unchanging can be the essence so reverse is possible isn't it is there any experience without the experiencer and many many people will say no no it totally depends on the experiencer without the experiencer nothing will be experienced sometimes we also say like this but what do we see we never see an absence of experience that is what the question was today so think more there is no relation of dependency between these two aspects of the existence nor they are independent they are one so the notions of dependency interdependency independency they do not apply this is a major ignorance among many people that they try to think about these two aspects of the of the existence as separately existing or one existing depending on the other that is not possible ravina is saying experiencing yes experiencing is all there is and there is no division here in experiencing there is no division of the experience and the experiencer so there is no question of one depending on other because there is no division that is the true state of existence experiencing is existence why do we divide it into two to study it it will never go away one thing will never go away because they are not two things thank you everybody for attending to this satsang i'll see you next time